Hey guys, Aquas47 back with my video. In today's video, we are going to be shooting a photo of uh, Pleiades. Uh, Pleiades is also known as the Seven Sisters. Basically, it is a star cluster of seven or more stars, depending on what you count as the star cluster. Um, it is also a reflection nebulae, uh, which is basically a nebula, which its gases are emitted by the star. So the equipment I'm going to be using is the Canon EF75 to 300 millimeter lens, a Canon Rebel T7, an intervalometer, and a very nice and sturdy ball head tripod. Now, it's going to be a tough one tonight, or I guess tomorrow morning, um, because, well, it's going to be really cloudy. Like, I'm talking really cloudy. I'm right on the brink of the clouds. So I'm hoping that it is right in this spot where it's not directly above me, but it's just slightly above me. Because on an app called Astrospheric, it basically creates a V where in the clouds. And I am like kind of like in the center of that V. And then Pleiades should be above the clouds. So if Pleiades doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and try to uh, shoot the photo of the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, I'll try to get some more data on that and get a second image because uh, I really want to get some more images of that um, because it's really cool and fascinating thing in my opinion. Um, or a nebula if I can find it. Um, I was going to do the Orion Nebula, but then I saw, oh no, <laughs> it's going to be really, really, really cloudy. So, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in the clouds. If it's not though, I won't do Pleiades, and I will do the uh, and I will do the Orion Nebula because I feel like that would be a super duper duper cool target to shoot. Um, so yeah, uh, Pleiades, Seven Sisters, whatever you uh, want to call it, is gonna be the photo of this video. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully if it's not too cloudy. Uh, I've got a couple other backup plans. Like I said, um, the uh, Drama Galaxy. But also, if it's not too cloudy, I would like to do um, uh, I would like to do the Orion and what, and then over this way, um, it's gonna be nice and clear. So I'd like to see if I can find something that would be up straight in the sky that is gonna be easier to shoot, like uh, maybe the rain nebula if that's even possible. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically all. I'm I'm pretty boring, so. Um, I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough one to get to. Alright, guys, it is two in the morning, uh, as you can see. And it is clear. So we've got the green light to go ahead and shoot, please. Alright, guys, um, camera. Uh, it's all set up. All I had to do is just move it out the door because I had it downstairs already. And I can see Pleiades um, in the night sky. And we're going to go ahead and try to find it. So the things I'm going to be using is ISO 3200 with um, an uh, exposure length of 200. So now we have started our sequence, and this is just going to go through this. Is that an interval at none? that is 
more Okay, I'm just walking back from my walk um, to just look at the stars, and it is right now taking the 50 photos. Um, so we got to kind of duck just to make sure we're not in it. And after it takes this 50, I'll wipe off the lens because it is kind of the perfect. We have lightning <laughs> that that got in one of those exposures. So that's something I didn't account for. But just in case it was a bit rainy, um, this setup is on my porch. So that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I will go ahead and uh, give you guys another checkup later. There's a whole family of raccoons back here. If it gets too close, I'm just gonna kick it, okay? Sorry, you get out of here. Well, that went well. The whole family of raccoons is just over there. Anyways, I've taken about 300 to 400 photos um so just to be safe i'm gonna go ahead and take uh, 100 more um just so i know i might have taken uh, 400 but i am very satisfied the images are beautiful um they are spot on and um yeah all right guys we're gonna pack up all right guys so it is currently the next day um it is uh, the please turned out great. Uh, it was just amazing. Uh, it was really fun to shoot a photo of. Uh, I ended up getting around 450 photos, um, and I deleted around 15 of them, which had, like, uh, meteor trails. I had a couple of meteorites go in front of it, um, and satellites. Um, but, uh, if you're wondering why this lens is on, uh, I ended up, after that, just playing around with some wide field images and, uh, uh, getting used to using this lens sometime in the future. I'd like to use the nifty 50 um, I feel like that lens uh, It's a, so much people say it's a beast at uh, gathering light because it is an f1.8 um, Pretty soon. I hope you get a star tracker uh, Pretty soon means like two or three months um, So there's still a bit of time um, But yeah, I am actually really 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 happy with how this is turning out um I'm super happy about the results I've been getting. Um, that is two successes under my belt, or uh, in just the span of like three nights. Um, if you're wondering, I'm, tonight I'm going to be doing some astrophotography. I'm not going to uh, record it though, because I'm just going to take another photo of the Andromeda Galaxy. Um, you guys probably don't want me to just only take photos of the Andromeda Galaxy. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's just what I'm going to do. Um, but before I let you guys uh, see the uh, see the photo, uh, please subscribe, uh, smash like button, and mean a, a ton to me. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, check out my website. Uh, it's got the photos and everything on it from this video. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.